Hello everyone, this is Sates, and today we will learn how to model and texture a bucket. Select all with A and delete with X. Add mesh, cylinder. Press N to open sidebar menu on the right, choose item and change dimensions. I changed X, Y and Z to 0.3 meters. You can change them if you don't like it that way. Ctrl plus A to apply scale. Switch to edit mode with tab. Switch to selecting faces with 3 and select this bottom face. Scale it with S. Select the top face and delete face with X. Now you can switch to object mode. Right mouse button click and choose shade auto smooth. Switch back to edit mode with tab and add a loop with Ctrl plus R and move it a bit up. Press Ctrl plus B and scroll mouse wheel once to add one more segment. Move the mouse until you are satisfied with the look of it. Select all three loops and bevel them. Now select all those middle loops. Switch from medium point to the individual regions so that the loops don't move away from each other along the z-axis while you are scaling them. Now you can scale them to the outside with S. Now select all the loops. Press Ctrl plus B, add one more segment with the mouse wheel and bevel them as you wish. Switch to object mode so you can see how your bucket looks now. Switch back to edit mode. Select all with A. Press Alt plus E and select extrude faces along normals a bit to the outside. Press Ctrl plus R to add one loop and move it a bit up. And do the same from the inside. Switch to selecting faces with 3, select the bottom face, click I to insert a new face. Add a new loop with Ctrl plus R and move it down a bit. Switch to selecting faces with 3 and select those faces. Continue selecting top faces as shown and don't select upper middle face. It can seem that it is selected but it is not. Extrude all of them along normal to the outside. Now select this loop and press X edge loops to delete them. Do the same with the middle loops as well. You are doing this to get rid of extra loops geometry that you don't need. Now select this bottom loop and this, this as well, those on the top and those and bevel them all with Ctrl plus B. Switch to selecting faces and select those two faces that are in the middle of the x-axis. Copy them with Shift plus D and move it with G plus X along the axis. Switch to selecting edges with tool and select those edges. Press G two times and move them, slide them down a bit. Now select the bottom edges and do the same. Add one loop on each face. Select those edges and extrude them along the z-axis with E plus Z. Press L to select linked, switch to medium point if you already didn't, turn on snapping 
this magnet icon and select face. Snap it to the face while holding G plus X. Now switch to selecting vertices and turn off snapping. Select these three vertices and move them with G plus X. And move them down with G plus Z. Now extrude it with E plus Z along the axis. Switch to selecting edges with 2 and select those edges and extrude them with E plus Z. Switch to selecting vertices with 1 and select these vertices. Now click Shift plus Ctrl plus B to bevel vertices. Add 2 more segments, now we will have 5 and bevel them. Now you can select these vertices and bevel them as well. Switch to selecting edges with 2 and select these edges and bevel them with Ctrl plus B. Switch to selecting faces with 3 and select these faces. Now we will insert new faces with I. Switch to selecting vertices with 1 and right mouse button and select loop tools circle. If you didn't install uh, loop tools already, but it is a free add-on, so just go to edit, preferences, get extension, write loop tool or just loop in search bar and install it. Now when you click right mouse button and loop tools, circle, you will get this. Scale it a bit with S. Switch to selecting edges with 2 and select this edge. Press X and select Glit edges. Press L to select Clean. Press Alt plus E and choose Extrude faces along normals. If your model isn't on the world origin in the middle, then do this. Select this face. Press Shift plus S and choose Cursor to select it. Switch to Object Mode, select Object, set to Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. And then press Alt plus G to move the bucket back to the world origin. Now you can switch back to edit mode and select linked with L. Switch from medium point to 3D cursor, click shift plus S and choose cursor to world origin, duplicate it with shift plus D and rotate it with R plus Z for 1 and 180 degrees. Now switch to object mode, click right mouse button and choose shade auto smooth. Go to modifiers, normals and weighted normals. Unpin smooth by angle and move it up. Click on green Y gizmo on the screen for back orthographic view. Add mesh, circle. Rotate it for 90 degrees along the X axis. Switch to edit mode and select vertices as shown. Delete them with X. Select all with A and scale it with S. Move it up a bit with G plus Z. Switch to the left orthographic view by clicking on red minus X on, and adjust the handle until it is in the middle. Select this vertex and extrude it along the X for 0 0.005 or any other number you like. Do the same for the other vertex. Scale it a bit along the X axis. Select these two vertices and extrude them along the z-axis. Select these two vertices and bevel them with Ctrl plus Shift plus B. Go to Object and Convert Curve. Click on data, this green curve icon, go to geometry, go to bevel, depth, and change depth to 0 0.002 or any other number you like. If you like how it looks, you can now go to object and convert and switch back to mesh. Switch to edit mode, select this part on the both sides of the bucket and fill it with an F. Switch to object mode and right mouse button, shade out to smooth. Select handle and the rest of the bucket and press Ctrl plus G to join them together. Now when you model the bucket, it's time for texturing. 
add mesh plane, it will be just as a background. Switch to edit mode and select this edge of the plane, extrude it along the z-axis with E plus Z, and switch back to object mode. Now you can switch to material preview mode, rename cylinder to bucket and plane to background if you already didn't. Select the bucket and go to materials. You will add now a new material and rename it to the bucket metal or anything else. Place the cursor on the upper side of the screen as shown and when you see plus, just pull it down to the left by holding the left mouse button. Open the shader editor in the window you just created. Click N to hide that sidebar on the right because you don't need it. Chain metallic to 1 and roughness to round 0.3. Add texture, Voronoi texture, to add differently colored spots on the bucket. Connect color from Voronoi texture to factor from color ramp in order to get a grayscale color gradient. Connect color from color ramp with metallic from principal BSDF. Change scale and Voronoi texture to around 41. Change the first color in the color ramp from black to very light gray by setting the value to around 0.8. You can adjust the second color on the color ramp as well. Connect roughness from principal BSDF with the color from color ramp. Connect factor from color ramp with the factor from a noise texture. Change the second color on the color ramp to gray. Change the first color on the color ramp to something a bit lighter. Select the background and then add a new material and change it to the black or any other color you want. Switch to render mode. Change the render engine to cyclist and the device to GPU if your graphics card is better than the processor. Also turn on the noise in the viewport. Change from objects to world. Connect color from background with color from sky texture. Change from Nishita to Pretem. That is it. Now you can add the camera, adjust it and render this image. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you like learning Blender with me, consider subscribing. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.